Welcome back guys. What are we going to do in this episode? Well, we've already built up a couple of nice uh, a couple of nice trade routes. Um, now it's time to uh, keep expanding and start to work on our hometown and other towns and start to build them up. So we're going to work on uh, we're, we're going to be working on businesses. But I just spotted this down here. There's a bottle floating in the water. It seems like it contains a piece of a treasure map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Aeolus and tell it to head over here. Get over here. Sail faster. There we go. Now, what is this? Accept. We get a piece of the treasure map. Now, remember, we're, lo we're looking for the centre section. Oh, we haven't got the centre section. Okay, well, never mind. Aeolus, go back on your route. Now, I want to make a change to the route. Um, another benefit of setting up this domestic route going to all our towns is that it increases our reputation there so if we go to the towns and go down to the dutch towns you can see that this is our reputation and our reputation in all of these towns is a hundred percent apart from our hometown where it doesn't matter because we're already the administrator uh turks island and puerto padre and of course if we take a look at our uh, domestic route domestic route you can see we're skipping Turks Island and Puerto Padre now I've just been looking at them and unfortunately <laughs> those are two that we really should be going to why because uh, in Puerto Padre uh, let's have a look in Puerto Padre we can produce some um, corn and corn is something that Port Royal could actually do with uh, where is it corn corn yeah they're not getting any at the moment so that would be a good thing and also Turks Island they can produce coffee now they can only produce coffee at 90% but we don't really have a, a lot of coffee production in this area so I think we're gonna I think we're gonna edit the route a little bit and I might set up also a, a little local route to uh, to improve the amount of stuff that we're shipping to Port Royal so let's edit this route Let's add Turks Island. Now we want to go there after Crooked Island. So like that. And then also, we want to go up to Puerto Padre. So I think what we'll do is we'll sail down with the wind and then we'll just sail up the coast. That probably is the best way to do it. So after Turks Island, we'll go to Puerto Padre and then back in. All right, cool. That seems to work. We'll set those up. And put to Padre. Cool. Now, one thing that you, you need to keep an eye on is the fact that when new businesses are added in a town, they don't automatically get added to your setup on your trade route. So every now and again, it's kind of a good idea uh, to, to go through and reset these so that they're set with the, like anything that they're producing you should be buying so it's actually worth going through oh did I turn that I turn that one off worth going through and just switching them off and on again and then it'll pick up anything where they've got new businesses so Andros and Cat Island and Crooked Island well we'll just set that one up and Barracoa there we go hooray confirm that all right now next thing we want more ships and we've got cash but instead of buying ships so if we were to, if we were to just go in and, and buy well this has only got corvettes at the moment so we can't even buy the ships that we want uh, which are barks probably at this point um, so what we're going to do is we're going to order ships to be built for us now let's see how much does it cost to order a bark it costs 60,000 I had to buy a used one it's like 75,000. So it's actually cheaper. But we can make it considerably cheaper. We've got a couple of fame points. If we can't see the Viceroy. He's offering us a letter of mark to go and uh, plunder Puerto Cabello. Because we're... Because uh, uh, we're at war with uh, with England. Well, yeah, I don't want to get involved in that right now. So I'm going to focus on this. Now, down here, merchant discount for the construction of trading vessels unarmed vessels you get a discount of 20% nice let's unlock that 
Yes, please. And then also, if we get this one, the construction cost for trading vessels will be decreased by 30%. Well, let's definitely get that. And then this enables the, uh, the construction of the, the trading flout. And then this en uh, enables construction of the carrack. I think, I think we're probably going to be going for that. And then we want to unlock the large shipyard, the shipyard as well. So we really want the fame points coming in. But for now, let's get some ships ordered. We want, for now, just, uh, just the barks, I think. Look at this. Only cost us 33,600. So let's, uh, let's order a couple of those. Now, these get built in order. So we'll get one on August the 17th. We'll get one on September the 11th. So they take, um, well, actually a little less than a month for a bark. So that's not too bad. All right, do it. Go, go, go. We've still got 130,000. So I think, let's pause. Let's go up to Santiago. Now, Santiago produces uh, tobacco. And tobacco is something that we want to sell to Port Royal. Now, at the moment, Port Royal's getting a, a, a fairly decent amount of tobacco. Uh, let's see. Uh, last month, we shipped like 507 of a possible 700. So, I think we'll step that up a little bit. So, Santiago. We're going to build, going to businesses, we're going to build a tobacco plantation. Now, where are we going to build it? Um... We get a bonus if we build four of them next to each other and it has a negative impact on residential areas that are uh, that are close by so we want to build this probably a little way out probably i'm thinking kind of over here maybe or, or even over here maybe these maybe these four so uh let's let's kick off with that one okay now if I get out of the production menu, you can see it says here, uh, there are construction materials missing in the town. We're missing bricks. Now, if we just leave it, right, I'm sure that our ships will bring bricks in here. But we can, uh, we can definitely improve things if we can find bricks somewhere. Nobody's producing bricks kind of in the in the local area andros oh andros is producing bricks or sorry andros can produce bricks and, and i think it is producing bricks yes it is it is producing bricks but it's not producing all that many now what we could do we could go down to andros we could because we are well known because we've got our reputation up we are able to acquire a building permission to construct businesses for twenty five thousand. so I think, let's have a look, uh, bricks, there is one business in the town producing bricks, I think we're going to do it, I think we're going to buy a building permission for 25,000, and we are going to set up brick production in Andros, so businesses and brickyard, now let's see, bonuses for raw material extraction, um, Receives a production bonus by tool makers. Has a negative impact on residential areas. So. I think we want it kind of somewhere. Somewhere out here maybe. Put it out here. Put it, I think out, out on this side. Pop you in there. Okay. And if we take a look at that. Oh, the only thing we're missing is a couple of wood. That'll get supplied very quickly. Now, this uh, this business requires 20 workers. If we take a look at the town, we have 27 job seekers, so that'll be fine. Uh, they can also produce uh, cocoa. Ooh, you know what? Let's produce some cocoa as well. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let it run for a bit, because I don't know whether we can actually produce whether we've got enough cash to produce cocoa or to, 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 to build a cocoa production facility come on guys bring the cash in it's climbing it's climbing slowly but surely there we go that's better all right what do we need for cocoa production 
Uh, if four businesses are connected to form a large farm, it will receive a com uh, production bonus, has a negative impact on residential areas, and employs 60 workers. And that's a good thing. So I think, how about maybe we do it like over in this area. So let's pop it in there. Okay. Now, this employs 60 workers. We need, uh, we need even more wood to get that built. And we need to get workers there. Now, what happens is workers are shipped in to Port Royal. Settlers come into the capital, into Port Royal, and the same into uh, Maracaibo, all of the Viceroy towns. And then from there, they need to be distribu uh, distributed by merchants. Now, we can do this by, for example, sailing to Port Royal. And if we look at the right at the bottom, we look at sailors, there's like a thousand people. In fact, there's 1,018. If we look at the town, you'll see job seekers is 1,018. What you can do is you can hire them as crew, ship them to a town, fire them, and they'll become job seekers in that new town. Oh, yeah. Let's keep a little eye on Andros. So, still missing wood, but it'll be coming in. It's fine. So, when do we get our new ship? It was uh, sometime in August, wasn't it? So, like, we get August the 6th. It's almost built. Woohoo! Bark available in Port Royal. Awesome. So, let's pop into the old lighthouse. Janice. Um, how about we call this one Dawn? I like that. I like that. And then Dawn we will assign to the domestic route. Cool. Off you go, Dawn. We'll keep an eye on the shipyard and see if they get any more ships. Oh, we can get a Carrick. Half a million though, so we can't afford it. But 14 knots, 40 cannons, 550 capacity. Carracks is right where we want to get to. Oh, I'd love to have a nice big fleet of Carracks. That'd be awesome. And they have a really nice tactic turn. The current vessel is immediately rotated 180 degrees without having to use any maneuver points. That means that you can just inst you can fire a broadside from one side of the ship, use that tactic, flip around and fire the other broadside from the other side of the ship. That is really nice. Okay. I am going to keep the uh, keep placing orders for barks. So let's place orders for another two, I think. So we've got we've got three queued up. Keep going, keep going, guys. Sh keep shipping that stuff. Now we want to get our um, reputation up on Turks Island because Turk Island we can grow uh, we can grow some coffee, which would be very good. Santiago. We're, uh, we're starting our production of tobacco, our business. Hooray! But we need 31 bricks. Now, what I could do is I could get a ship. And I could go somewhere where they've got bricks, buy bricks and ship them down there. But we've got quite a few ships sailing around here. I think bricks are going to be coming in. In fact, yeah, we've already got the bricks. So now it's getting built. It takes 10 days to build. So days until completion, nine. Awesome source. The end of the Anglo-Spanish War. Now this is historical. After 19 years, the war between Spain and England ends without either side having gained a significant advantage. Cool. The sunbeams. I, I do like the sunbeam. The sunbeams repairing. So let's have a look. Have How are we doing on fame? Last month, okay, uh, more tobacco, more cocoa, more coffee. Now, cocoa, who produces, who can produce cocoa? One of these around here, is it Crooked Island? No. Barracoa, yes, Barracoa can produce cocoa. So, I'm gonna spend 30,000 on a building permission. Now, that doesn't make us an administrator. We need to have 500 workers in the town working in our, um, 
business businesses <clears throat> before we can apply for the um, to be the administrator but right now that's not what I'm interested in what I'm interested in is growing cocoa Ooh, I think a cocoa plantation let's see what have we got up here bunch of farms I think <clears throat> I think we might have a cocoa plantation going on here so let's pop um, let's see oh 53,000 oh can't do it at the moment need a little bit more cash to come in come on guys bring me the cash bring me the cash oh we've got another bark available in Port Royal so let's pop into the White House turn it into a convoy well we've got the sunbeam how about the moonbeam well the moon seam try that again moonbeam and we will get you assigned to the domestic route go awesome so I was trying to oh, I've got enough cash now I was trying to put in some cocoa production wasn't I? Yeah. So cocoa production. We're gonna do where did I say we we're gonna do the cocoa production? You know what? Might do the cocoa production like here. Yeah, you know what? Let's put it uh, let's do the first one there. That's where that's gonna go. So we need twenty wood and forty bricks. Now if that if that's in the town square, then they'll just start building it. And yes, they've already got it in the town square. What I didn't look at was uh, how many workers that requires. Let's see. 60 workers. You know what? The cash is rolling in. So I think we'll put in a second one. Now, as you can see here, um, you, we've got this darker green showing that we get a bonus uh, if we put it in this area. Now, what we want is four of these, ideally. So let's put, um, let's put the second one there. Okay, for that, we need some bricks. So, shipping bricks around. Oh, hello. We have got... Some commodities are swimming in the water here. A storm must have uh, must have raged that washed them overboard. You can pick, you can pick them up with a convoy. Oh, 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 that would be nice. Have we got any ships in the area? Oh, you would do. Dawn. Uh, you are full at the moment. We haven't got any ships that are closer. No, we haven't. Well, it is what it is. What we're going to have to do is send you back to... We'd have to send you back to Andros. Either that or I could send you down to say Puerto Padre. Sell some of your goods and then go pick that up. Shall I do that? What's the, what's the wind? We're kind of sailing across the wind, so it's not too bad. Then we've got to sail up. Maybe I'll let you go to Cat Island and then... Yeah, let's do that. So, continue on to Cat Island. You'll go in. You will sell some of your goods. Right, you've got room for 30. Let's try and make you a little bit more room, if we possibly can. So, what do we have a lot of? We've got a lot of beer. You know what? I'm going to sell this down. I say we've got a lot of beer. We haven't got a lot of beer. We've got 16. Uh, I'm going to ditch the beer. 27. Uh, I want to hang on to the coffee, really. I can maybe sell a little bit of this. Okay, we've got room for 50. I, um, I'd like a little bit more room than that, to be honest. Oh, cocoa. But, huh. I kind of want the cocoa. Uh, tell me, can we unload that? Yes, we can unload the meat. Get rid of the rope. Coal we can get rid of. Okay, we've got a decent bit of room now. Uh, so a little cloth. Least, ah, let's get rid of some of this. Ah, let's, we can get rid of these vegetables. Boom. And the corn, yes. And the grain, yes. Okay, we've got almost 100. So now, sail down here. Go.
go. Here comes the dawn. Is it going to get there before this disappears? These, these don't stay around forever. So the dawn comes down here and... Hooray! We can pick that up. We get... Whoa, whoa, not, okay, this is a haul. 19 luxury items, 70 ceramics, and 9 rum. Oh, what a win. All right, cool. I am going to tell you, Dawn, to go back onto your trade room. Because it's sailing with the wind that way. Well, pretty much with the wind that way. Oh, Cat Island. Cat Island's got a task. Let's see what it is. They want 65 hemp. Now, who's got hemp? Grand Bahama has hemp. How much have they got is the question. Oh, they've got loads of hemp. Okay, let's do it. So, Dawn, we need to unload you. There we go. What are we going to ditch? Uh, as much of everything as possible. So, ceramics. Sell some of those. Uh, oh, the luxury items. We could ditch all of it. Nice. That's a good profit. Pastries. Boom. Really? We can't... No, I no, can't really sell anymore. And the... Phew. Coffee and cocoa. Again, I want to hang on to. And the tobacco. Can we get rid of any more of this? Get rid of a little... You know what? Can just dump that cotton and we'll sell the rum and sugar yes we can get rid of the sugar as well okay so we've got plenty of room so go to grandpa oh i need to act i need to accept the task first accept the task so we need 65 go up to grandpa harmer go 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 oh we have a captain available let's have a look scaly de burr Gunman, Maneuver Tactics, Supervision, Navigator. Uh, level 2, Maximum 10. See, these are things which right now really aren't going to help us too much. So again, I'm going to reject. I, I tell you what, I'm being unlucky with the captains. Right, are you in port? Yes, you are. So what do we want? We want hemp. So we need 65, don't we? So we're going to buy it now. The price is going up, but we need 65, so we're buying 65, regardless of what the price is. There we go. And other than that, have we got anything good that we could buy? And the answer really is no. Maybe a little bit of cotton. Oh, actually we could buy a lot of cotton. Oh, we could have... You know what? I'd rather have rope. How much rope can we buy? Okay, let's buy some rope. Is there anything else? Uh, mate, you know what? Maybe pick up some corn as well. And then we'll fill it with a, just a tiny bit of cotton. There we go. Right. Let's have you now head back to... Cat Island, deliver this, 65 hemp, I wonder what we're going to get as our reward, and we arrive in port, so, deliver the hemp, hooray, tactic received, repair, so let's have a look, You know what? Well, we've got two of those. I, I mean, I suppose that's a good thing. I suppose it's probably kind of sort of worth it, maybe. All right, uh, Dawn, you can now go back onto your route. And carry on. Port Royal. Oh, Port Royal. Oh, hello, what's this? At the seaside, a young woman is looking for someone who is able to help her. Would you help me find my husband? He went overboard on his last voyage. But I can tell you the approximate location. You know what? Oh, now look. Look at this. 
in order to build these ships, we need rope and we need wood. Huh. Okay. So we need to get rope and wood production going on. Now, Evangelista, no. Trinidad. Now, Trinidad grows hemp. So that would be a good place to grow hemp and grow some at 110 percent which is good now let's have a look at production so we d we do have a couple of businesses there producing rope and they got some businesses producing hemp i am kind of sort of tempted to set up a little local route with trinidad like trinidad santiago barracan maybe I, I don't know maybe just going like round the island um, just to deliver rope, primarily. So I tell you what, let's uh, let's go into Trinidad. How much cash have I got? Oh, a building permission here is forty thousand. Good lord, it keeps going up. Well, we're going to need more cash before we can do that. And I'm just going to rely on my ship network to keep bringing the uh, the stuff in. These things will get built. We've got our businesses going in Barracoa. Where are they? Up here. Uh, yeah, this is getting built. The cocoa plantation. That's good news. One's built. One's going to be ready in three days. The cash is starting to roll in, which is nice. We haven't got any, uh, any more ships built yet. Because we're waiting on that rope and wood. Wood production would be really good. What else can we produce over here? Make corn. Corn production might be a good thing. Because we're not we're not producing corn in the town. So I think let's get a bit of corn going on. Yeah, let's get some corn going on. What did I set up over here? I set up tobacco, didn't I? Well, do I focus on that first? Or oh, so many decisions. So many decisions. What do I want? Right now, I want to get some corn going. So if we have the tobacco plantation going on over here, maybe we have the corn plantation going on over here. Yeah, let's put in a corn plantation. And I might actually put in another tobacco plantation. Start building up. Right, what do we need? 41 wood, 32 bricks. Now, um, oh, we've got a town task. Deliver 115 rum. Who has got rum? Let's have a look. You haven't got any. Is anybody around here producing rum? Andros, Turks Island, Cat Island, no. Anybody producing rum? Good Lord. Ah, yes. Grand Bahama is producing rum. Question is, how much have they got? Because we, they see they've only got 18. I don't think that task is something that we can do easily. So I think I'm going to ignore it for now. Yep. We'll just ignore it for now. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to do this. You know what? Let's do it. So, the Aeolus is in port. So, let's select the Aeolus, and we will accept this quest. Find Helga van Berg in this area, and return to Port Royal by October the 11th. We've got a storm going on in this area. Huh. Okay, well let's let's have a little look around then. So I hold this. Now I've never I've never done one of these tasks, so it's like I don't know how big an area we've got to search to find him. Fame point gained, nice. You know what, I'm, I I might unlock another captain. 
am I going to unlock another captain or am I going to start unlocking businesses? So I'd like to get into um, producing rope would be good. Hmm. I've got to say I'm tempted. Yeah. Or I could unlock the flute and the carrack. Ooh. Do I, do I head that way or do I go the businesses route? Or do I just unlock it? You know what? I'm going to unlock another captain. Hopefully we'll get more captains applying and we can find a decent one. Uh, living space. Yeah. Would be... I think at this point it doesn't give us much of a benefit. Uh, the flout. Or do I go... You know what? I'm going to unlock rope yards, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Now, where on it, like, find Helga Vanberg in this area. Oh, uh, it, like this. In what area is the question? It's in this area. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll just keep looking, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. How big an area do you have to search? Maybe, I don't know. Have a look over the here. The war with England ended today. Oh, okay, and we've got a new task. What's the new task? Because there is something to discuss. Fruits are in short supply. While in Eng England has enough stock, I therefore ask you to buy 325 of that commodity up there by November the 26th and deliver it to our towns. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, you know what, I will go in. I happen to know there's a town in here if we... Yeah, Port-au-Prince. Oh, and Tortuga. Isabella. Let's do a little bit of exploring, I think. Okay, I, I don't think this is going to happen. Oh, south of Eva I didn't read. I need to read these things. South of Evangelista. Go to Evangelista. Go. On side of the 11th. I don't think that's going to happen. Ta! If only I'd actually read the instructions. South of Evangelista. No, and it's too late now anyway. Okay, you know what? Hey, Alice, you know what? Let's see, you've got some cargo on board. I'm kind of tempted to go on another exploration, but no, let's, let's get you back on your route for now. Right, we have got cash to spend. We need to start spending it. Um, so, let's go down. What have we got on the, on the list? We've got two barks on the list. I'm going to order a couple more. And... What I'm going to do is go into the, uh, not the construction menu, I'm going to go into the trade routes. Uh, I'm going to pause the game while I'm doing Am I going to pause the game while I'm doing this? No, I'm not going to pause the game while I'm doing this. Uh, I'm going to edit the Spanish circle, and I'm going to say Port Royal. We want rope. Let's make that a medium priority. Rope and wood, so that we can keep building ships. In fact, no, let's make it a high priority. Slightly less than the fame, but a high priority. We'll confirm that. Then we'll go to domestic and we will do the same. So, Port Royal. Wood and rope. Good. Confirm. Alrighty. Where do we get and um, we got another ship available yet? No, because we're still waiting for 40 rope. Okay, I can now build rope. So let's go up to Trinidad. Trinidad produces hemp. Maybe we start a rope business there. Is there anywhere like that's closer to Port Royal on the route? Um, Santiago, Baracar, no. Puerto Padre, no. We're looking for hemp. 
and of course there's not. ah here we go crooked island we can buy a building permission for 55,000 let's do that we are going to grow hemp and we're going to make rope what do we want we want the construction menu don't we <laughs> businesses now rope business workshop for further processing receives production bonuses for neighboring raw material suppliers and residential areas so we want it next to residential areas in an ideal world but we also get a bonus for being near the hemp fields hmm now what I'm what I'm thinking okay it's within it's within two spaces of uh, of a residential area so I think maybe let's put this in we'll have the rope business there now how much is the rope business is 51,000 I'm thinking of potentially having a couple if I put in the hemp how close has the hemp got to be the hemp has got to be next door okay so let's do a rope and a hemp so we grow the hemp we feed it to them and we get production bonuses hooray all right go 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 get it built guys what do we what do we need we need bricks we really need to start producing bricks somewhere and where would be a good place to produce bricks I mean we're focusing kind of on this area so maybe even producing bricks in uh, Crooked Island wouldn't be the worst idea can we produce bricks now we can't produce bricks where can we produce bricks Cat Island no let's see NASA no Andros yes Andros can produce bricks and that'll feed bricks into the whole chain so that's good Andros um, I've already got the, the building license there so let's see what, what businesses do I already have here so I've already got I've already got the one brick business let's expand that and maybe expand it quite dramatically so what do we want we want bricks Where's my brick business? This is uh, my brick business up here, isn't it? So let's do some more. Now, uh, any bonuses? Raw extraction receives a production bonus by tool makers nearby. Has a negative impact on residential areas in close proximity. Okay, I'm going to put in one, two, three. I'm going to put in four, I think. Now I can't produce, um, or I can't build tool yards yet. For that, this I need convenient. a concession, because the and it's here. So I would need to get one, two, like three more fame points to be able to unlock tool makers. We'll kind of head in that direction. So Santiago, uh, no, I want Port Royal. What is the wood situation? We are still not getting wood coming in here in sufficient quantities. We're getting a little bit of wood coming in here, but not enough. You know what? Can I buy any ships? Let's have a look. Um, schooner. Oh, that's it. Just one schooner. That doesn't really help me. I'm going to go down to uh, Maracaibo. Let's see what we can buy in the way of ships down here. Schooner, Briggs. So I can buy a bark down here. 75,000 though. But I think I'm probably going to do it. Am I going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Purchase a bark. And we'll put that into a convoy. Oh, the Soleil Royal. Well, that's just the Royal Sun. So that kind of fits in with our theme. We'll go with that. And then that can be put onto the Spanish circle. Create new route. Uh, no, I didn't want to create a new route. Delete route. Assign route. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> right, off you go. 
Oh, we gained a fame point. Hooray. That fame point is going to go to see me? into distillery for making rum. Haha. <laughs> now, where could we make rum? Andros, but Padre, no. Oh, we need uh, we need grain production. I was actually looking at the wrong thing. Grain production. Uh, not in our hometown. Barracoa. Barracoa, yes, but at ninety percent, which is not perfect. Cat Island, no. Andros. Ah, Andros. Well, we already have a building license. Ha ha! All right. So let's do it. Andros. What do we want to do? We want to go to the construction menu. Now I've been putting my, uh, my brick manufacturers in, haven't I? Over here. Over here we've got the cocoa plant. These are the brick yards. I've got two captains available. Let's have a look. Um, maneuverability, supervision, embarker. Nah. They're both level zero, which kind of sucks. Okay. Close combat fighter, gunner, gunman, and maneuver tactics. This guy is a really good combat captain. And he's got a maximum level of 11. Uh, okay. We're going to hire him and put him to work. Now, this guy... Embarker, Pirates and Supervision, Maneuverability. I don't, I don't really like that combination of skills, so I'm going to get rid of you. But as a combat captain, let's start training this guy up. So where are we going to put you? We're going to go to... I don't know. Uh, let's go to Convoys. How about we put you on board the Thunder? Yeah, so we go to Captains. Captains and assign him to the thunder <laughs> now now that we've got a decent combat captain i'm very tempted to queue up a combat ship bark available in port royal another ship okay the gull do i want it called the gull i'm running out of names though um oh i tell you what why don't we name this after my favorite drink the sea breeze uh, which I can't spell apparently <laughs> that's E double E isn't it sea breeze there you go the sea breeze that'll do now I was thinking of taking this and going on uh, going on a bit of an exploration but I think we'll do that in the next episode what do you guys think yeah let's do that in the next episode so sea breeze you are going to be assigned to the domestic route I think yes sign route and off you go make me loads of cash good man all right well the cash is starting to really roll in now let's have a quick look at where we are so we look at the company over the last two and a bit years or whatever um, we're still doing very nicely we're going up we've made a big investment in businesses Let's have a look uh, at our businesses. Oh, look at this. We now have 12 businesses going on. Awesome. What about daily production? Oh, 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 daily production is really ramping up. That is beautiful. Our balance. Okay, we made an actual profit of 213,000. We spent 300,000 on constructing buildings, so that's half a million. We made over 600,000 in this quarter. That is brilliant. And we've got another bark available. Good Lord. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm going to think of a name for that. If you want to suggest a name for that, leave me a comment and I'll name it. I'll, I'll use one of your suggestions to name that ship in the next episode. Uh, there was one thing, other thing I wanted to look at. What did I want to look at? I can't remember. Um, oh, I wanted to look at this and see how much our roots are making. So our domestic roots are making 3,600 a day. And the Spanish circle is making 5,300 a day. So it's all going very, very nicely. And now we're releasing more ships onto that route. We're going to do even better. We've got tasks popping up. Oh, Turks Island wants 50 hemp again. 
Oh, we're, we are making pretty decent progress. Oh, I know what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at how we do with our objectives. Well, we need 2,000 workers employed in our business. We've already got 444 of 2,000. We, we need to produce 1,200 commodities a day. We're producing, a, well, 99 now. So we're making progress. We need 24 active trade routes. We've got two. We haven't constructed any town buildings yet. We need 125 vessels. We've got 14. Uh, town, uh, towns administered by you, we're up to 2,000. And workers employed in your businesses, we're at 400 out of, a, we need 20,000. Good Lord. Well, we've made progress, but there's still a long way to go. Guys, and, and the money, I need to start spending money faster. Guys, come back for the next episode and see, can I spend all this money I'm making? I'll have to come back and find out. Okay, for the next one, guys, peace out.